Hello everyone and welcome back to Games Night. Uh, today we're going to play Night Vault. Ooh. Warhammer Underworld's Night Vault. It's very strange that it's not called Shadespire because um, we've been playing a game called Shadespire, which is this game. Um, <laughs> yeah. But this is the latest pack. It came out, I think, today um, or, or tomorrow. Um, but, but we've got a copy and we've painted up the models and they mm. look pretty nice. They're I'm going to play nice. as the Stormcast Sacrosanct Chamber. Mm -hmm. They are wizards. As you can see, I have my three wizards here. Uh, I can move this lovely camera to see them. Yeah, I've got look. Averon Storm Sire, he's mm -hmm. a wizard. I've got Amis Dawnguard, and I've got Rastus the Charmed. I've only got three guys. Ben. They look pretty badass. You're playing, I'm the, playing the evil the ghosts. Thorns of the Briar Queen. I can't, there's so many of them, I can't get them all in shot at once. So I'm going to start over here with my good ones. Look at this. She's the Briar Queen. She looks amazing. She's like a banshee who throws thorns and stuff at you. Um, I've got this guy who is Varklav the Cruel. He's got a cage on his face and some keys. Um, I've got this guy, the Everhanged, who's like a hanged ghost. Pretty creepy. He um, is cool, isn't it? Aren't these mods great? Oh, lovely. And then over here we've got um, the Chumps. Four Chain Rats. They're called Chain Rats. We've got this guy, he's got a vice around his head. This guy's got no body. <laughs> this guy's had his head chopped off. Don't worry, he's got it in his hand. Oh, he has. He's carrying it around. <laughs> he's just looking for like some glue or something. <laughs> and then um, we've got this guy who's like still nailed to a plank, because I guess he was in one of those like... Um, you throw tomatoes at them. Yes, yeah, stock A, stocks. 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 That's it. So the way this game works is it's a board game, mm -hmm. okay? On a board. It's not anything like normal Games Workshop mm -hmm. uh, miniature stuff, and that's why it's not really called that. I mean, it's called Warhammer Underworlds. They've got rid of the Shadespire branding, which is so weird, but we're going to play Shadespire. It's basically just an expansion for Shadespire. Because me and Ben have been playing this at lunchtime. We've played mm -hmm. a bunch of games. We've got all the decks. And um, so in the ne over the next couple of videos, we're going to play and show you off all the other gangs. And then maybe have a little tournament, if you guys like it. We're trying out a new way of filming as well. Yeah. So hopefully you guys will be able to follow the action a bit better. We'll see. Please give us feedback, because we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> hopefully um, you can see what's happening there. So first of all, you have to... So the way it starts is we actually roll off. Me and yes. Ben have already done this, but we roll four dice, and then whoever uh, gets the most critical crit, so gets to pick the first game board. Now Ben already picked this game board and put it there, so Ben won the so first roll off, and he won the second roll off because it's got these re red spots, which are dangerous for you, but not for me. Ghosts can fly through that. You get attacked by evil monsters if you go through them. Th this is if you don't know how to play, we're going to give a very brief tutorial of how this game works as well, mm. just so, we'll so you guys can follow. But Ben put down the first game board. I had a choice to put down the second game board how I wanted. I could put it on, like slide it up or down. So I could make a sort of a more of a choke point if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. But actually I'm quite okay with having it joined up. This is impassable terrain. Awesome. I've got some terrain that we can use we for that. Um, that looks nicer, doesn't it? Okay, so the next thing to do is to put the objectives on the game board. How many do you put down? I put down, well you start, I think, because you okay. deploy the first game board. So, um, so the, the objectives markers mm -hmm. are what we're fighting over. Now, they can't be on an edge hex, mm -hmm. and they can't be within two tiles of another objective. Right. So if you want to put one down, down here. in your territory. Now they go down blind, mm -hmm. so they go down... So we don't know which objective that is. Like, um, face down. I think I'm actually going to put mine up the field a bit. I'm going to put another one here. I'm going to have them right back, and I'm going to make you come and get them. Okay, I will put one here and keep it quite central. Um, now the last one can touch an edge. It can, yeah. Um, so I guess I'm going to put it here behind this, like, tentacle monster that's coming out of the ground. Yeah, that lethal hex. That seems like a good defensive location. Mm. So the way this game sort of works is you can push um, them around a bit. Right, so, don't worry guys, if you don't understand what's going on, you'll get it pretty fast. So this is all just board setup. So we've got objective one, mm -hmm. five, and four on your side. We've got objectives two and three on my side. So now we draw some cards. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got two decks of cards. These are the starter cards that come with the set. There are some additional ones. We're not using those. Draw three objectives, Ben. Yep. And draw five um, power think, cards. Yeah, these are like power cards, but they can have in them now spells. That's mm. new in this set. So all of the other ones that we've played so far haven't had spells, but these guys yeah, can I, cast I've never played with spells. spells. So yeah, don't worry, I'll tell you how that works. Um, if you don't like your starting hand, yep of either hand, you're allowed to chuck them completely, mm -hmm. not allowed to selectively. So I've, for example, I've drawn five upgrades. Now you can only play upgrades once you've actually attained victory points, so starting with five upgrades is oh. actually okay, because it means I'm guaranteed to get some ploys in this hand. 
and I yeah. can play actively. I also have a lot of upgrades. I would rather have some ploys. So You're going to chuck, chuck my life as well. <laughs> and I'm going to chuck my objectives too, because two of these can only be scored at the end of the game. Right. And I don't fancy holding on to them, doing burning a hole in my pocket for the whole game. Okay. So now we do the deployment. Yep. And we actually roll off to see who gets to deploy first. Uh, even though you're definitely going to finish deploying last. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I got a crit. I got nothing. You got nothing. So I will let you deploy first, Ben. Makes you sense. Can, you can put pl whatever you want. Okay. Now this is obviously going to inform your strategy greatly. Mm. Um, but we'll see. Okay, so we finished deployment. Mm -hmm. I deployed my models quite quickly here in yeah. a group. And then Ben slowly got to put his good guys down at the end. And he actually put his leader. My leader's here. The, the Banshee. What's her name? Uh, the Briar Queen. She is, she is quite aggressively positioned. Mm. Um, so... And then my second in command, back here. Yeah, so, he, so the way Ben's army works is that he can use an action, you'll find out, to move all of his chumps. You'll see. You'll see, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. So now we roll off to see who we go first. actually goes first. And you get an extra... I get an extra crit because I've finished deploying first. Well, good luck, because I rolled two crits. I rolled one crit. Oh, uh, you actually win. So then we go to... <laughs> Supports, which yeah. we draw on, and then we go to double supports, which I win on. These are the rules we're doing. It's not actually because we found that the rules in the book you end up re-rolling three Re or four you end times. Up rolling all <laughs> over the time. So if you're playing with people who actually want to do book rules, um, you might want to not makes, do what, what we're doing. It just takes longer, but makes no other difference. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I get to pick who gets the first action. Okay. And I would like to. Take the first action, please. Okay, ben. come get me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast a spell. Right. This with this new. guy here. Uh, him, he's on my front line. Mm -hmm. His name is Rastus the Charmed. Mm. And he has uh, a spell action, which is which is a new thing. Right. So it's a bit of a weird introduction to this game, but uh, I can cast a spell. He's got a power of one, so I roll one spell dice. Okay. I'm looking for a lightning bolt or a crit. I get a crit. crit. So his spell goes off. If the spell is cast, you can re-roll one attack dice each time this fighter makes an attack action at right. the end of the turn. So that's my first go. He is now inspired. Yeah, so he like sort of dings effectively and becomes a better version of himself. So these guys have a very complicated character card. Okay, this guy has a complicated character card, as you can see. That's his wizard level next to his name, and he has these attacks at the bottom there. Is his movement, his defense, and his life. It's all very complicated, but hopefully... It's not that bad. Um, you'll be able to get it. So every character has a condition that makes them become inspired. My yeah. guys become inspired when they start their turn adjacent to an enemy. Yeah. Um, so if I, I move in, and then if I survive Lewis's counterattack, I level up. Your guys level up when they cast a spell. Yeah. Um, so also, I forgot to mention this, but you get four actions. That's one of my four actions. Yeah. Now obviously, Ben's got seven guys. So he's never going to be able to take an action with every single one I can't one move all guys. my guys every turn. But for me, I can afford to uh, effectively use one action which is not going to end my guy's turn. Mm. So if, if you if you charge with a guy, that ends his turn. So if I charge with all three of these guys, I would have a kind of a, a useless a fourth action. action, which you can use to cycle cards. There are things mm. you can do. but. We're just going to start playing this game now, and hopefully you guys can, <laughs> can ca keep up. Um, so it's your go, Ben. Okay, I'm going to um, use my second in command, Varclav the Cruel. He's going to, as an action, push two friendly chin straps, two hexes. Chin straps. Chin straps. <laughs> <laughs> chain brass. Wow. When you glance at that word, it really looks like chin straps. Um, because chain rasp's not a word I normally read, in all <laughs> no. honesty. Okay, so this guy is going to drift up to, uh, ooh, spooky, he's on objective four. Okay. And then this guy is going to spookily drift onto, onto objective, objective one. one. Oh my gosh. And because it's a push, I think I know what's going to happen. And not a move, these guys, they don't get the token that says they can't move again this turn that you would normally get when you move. Yeah. You push, they can then move again after that. It's like a ghostly drift. So you're spooking your spooks around. Spooking onto the objectives. Now you can continue spooking all of your chain rasps. You can spook the hanged man and you can spook oh, this guy yeah, and you right. can spook this guy. Oh man, you're right. I thought it was only two, but it's not. Okay. All so friendly chain rasps. Yeah. Um, it's a big advantage. Spook. Spook. <laughs> You're spooking away from spooking me. Spooking into a line. <clears throat> okay, so you formed this defensive line. Now, obviously, mm -hmm. that, that's part of this game. Mm -hmm. um, these dice, when you roll for attack and defense, if you are if you have multiple of your guys adjacent, that can actually be very helpful. Yeah. Increases your chances of hitting. It does. Having friends. 
It does. That's your turn. That's my turn. All right. Well, it's my turn now. And I know that you want objective four. And I don't really want you to take it. But it's very well defended behind that lethal hex. You see, because if, mm -hmm. if I move this guy, one, two, three, I, I'd, I'd take a damage if I went into that lethal hex. Mm. Um, I don't really want to do that. So, cast a spell with my other wizard. Mm. This is the same trick. And he's going to get stronger as well. Hopefully. We'll see if he rolls the spell. He does. Okay. So he is also inspired. So I've started off by casting these. So these guys are in, uh, slightly inferior wizards to my main wizard, but they mm. have an ability on their card which lets them be, become empowered. For, okay, for so the they've turn. both given them, themselves a buff. They have, they've buffed themselves up. Okay. I'm preparing for a, an onslaught, you see. Right. Um... And also I'm not, I'm not keen to enter your territory because I, I don't want to get swarmed by ghosts. <laughs> yeah, well that's kind of what the ghosts want to do to you. Mm. I'm going to spend my action to draw a new objective card okay. and chuck an old one. That's your go. Yeah. Mm, so you're very passive. Mm. Okay, cool. I think it's time to make a charge. Mm. So we're going to charge in with Dawn Guard. He's going to come whistling out the gate. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Try and push your chain rasp off objective four. Right. Or at least chop him, chop him into us. So he's now inspired, so he rolls Three dice, mm -hmm. it says on there. So it says he's rolling three dice looking for hammers with cool. his linked weapons. Uh, um, no hammers. He didn't roll any hammers, which is a bit of a disaster. But uh, because he's inspired, I can reroll one attack. Because um, he's empowered, I can reroll one attack. Oh, because of that buff he cast. That's the buff that he spent a turn casting. And he oh, doesn't get a hammer. This is. Okay. So, okay, so that so means that old, um, old, old chain helmet man, he dings because he started my turn next turn only. Okay, so your inspire yep. requirement is that you have to start adjacent to an enemy model mm. and you get inspired. So he actually has become inspired after surviving that major Yeah, he, he used to be scared of you, Lois. No, he's not. <laughs> After that shameful display. Oh, I know, that wasn't very good, was it? That was a bit of a bad roll. Um, and we put a token down to say this fighter can no longer move or attack this turn. That's correct. I'm going to use my ability again to make all my chain rasps drift. The ghostly drift begins. Whoa. Oh my gosh, you're drifting. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, wow. Turn. I'm coming in. You've just ghosted around and trapped my guy in there, mm. which is pretty scary because I want to be able to, to, to when you when you attack someone in this, mm. um, if they don't have anywhere to go, they can they take damage. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna hopefully see if I can break him out of there. So let's do this. Okay. So we'll go one, two to here, mm -hmm. and we'll strike up the headless chain. Right? Headless guy. Yeah. Okay. Now Just cut an escape route for your other, other friend. This is Rastus inspired. He rolls three mm -hmm. dice again. Um, mm -hmm. This has cleave, which means your My shields don't your count. shields don't count. Not that you need to roll shields anyway. Mm -hmm. um, but also, um, I get to re-roll, mm -hmm. and also supports are now hits as well. Well, um, but I have a support as well. You have a support in defense. Oh, of course. Yeah. 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 So uh, I rolled nothing. Oh, wow. But I can re-roll the dice. Yeah. And get nothing. Wow. So just, oh my god. So that result is a double support. If you had two supports, that would have hit. Yeah, if I had two guys adjacent, that mm. would be a hit. But, oh dear, this is Oh, wow, your guys are fluffing So I will say yeah. that that was four dice, and I rolled five or six on every single so one. So a hammer, a hammer, a crit, or a... So there was four sides of that dice that would have worked for you. Yeah. And you didn't land any one of those four on so four there's, there's two hammers on this dice, a crit and a support. So <laughs> yeah. that, that, was, that is really unlucky. That's a really bad roll. So my boys get happy now. The hanged man, he dings. Yep. The old headless wanderer man, he dings. And that's my, that's my full that's turn. That's your full turn. I've got one turn left. Right. Um, so I'm going to score an objective. Okay. Score this immediately if three or more friendly fighters are adjacent to the same enemy fighter. Okay. So because I've got your guy surrounded, I've given him a death sentence. Oh dear. Now you can spend that victory point immediately on oh an upgrade right, if you want. Okay, I'm going to give um, the Everhand, driven by hatred, um, plus one dice on their attack action when that fighter makes a charge. And that spends your victory point. Yeah, so, so it still counts as a victory point, but I can't spend it to get any more upgrades. Yeah, so the way this works is you collect victory points, they're, they're how you win, mm -hmm. but every time, but you can spend them to use, to, to cast upgrades. So now the hangman is just always better on charging. 
Okay. Um, and I'm going to play a um, another power card. This is the first attack this turn has cleave. Okay. Which means it ignores your shield rolls. You got it. Um, and then I'm going to make a charge action. So he's going to go get a run up, and then he's going to come back and bash you. Um, so he normally rolls two dice. He gets an extra dice because he's driven by hatred. And he's got a crit and a hammer and a support. So that is a crit and two hit hits. So the way this works is because Ben rolled a crit, I have to roll a crit on my defense dice mm -hmm. if I want to block this. Now only one defense dice anyway, mm -hmm. um, which was a shield that doesn't count because it's got cleave. <laughs> okay, so, I stacked everything on so this. So Ben actually got effectively here three hits. Yeah. So you've got a crit is one hit, a hammer is one hit, and a support is one hit. However, you can only get one hit yeah. effectively in total. If you get more hits than your opponent, regardless of how many times you've got over them, you just deal your damage once. So I've dealt two damage to you. Congratulations. How much health do you guys have? Four. Okay, so it's half dead. So this is a Dawn Guard spike. So you can usually choose to drive someone back when you do a successful attack on someone, or if you do an attack but I block it. Yeah. Um, in that case, if you succeeded in your role, which you did, you could push me back. And if if I had blocked you and it had done zero damage, and I couldn't be pushed back because I'm on the edge of the mm -hmm. board over here, you would be able to do your damage yeah. as normal. So if someone's trapped, you're almost guaranteed to do your so damage. So basically Ben almost did his damage four times here. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, but, but he rolled it. Um, so that was like massive overkill. It was. You I only just, get two damage anyway. I know, I just really wanted to make sure I hit. But it is definitely <laughs> a, a, a thing. Okay. Um, and that's the end of the turn, isn't it? Can yeah. We've taken four actions each. Um, I'm just going to quickly cash in some of my victory points. Go for it. I hold objective one. Congratulations. Which is worth a victory point to me. So this objective four business was the ruse. Complete ruse. <laughs> Complete ruse. You rused me. Um, well done. And my other objective. You didn't get. I didn't get. I'm just wondering whether I should chuck it. Now I have got an objective mm -hmm. called Harness the Storm. Score this when a friendly fighter casts a spell. So I've got, I cast a spell, mm -hmm. um, so I get a victory point. Oh, nice. Um, so yeah, before the end of this first battle round, I'm going to cast a spell with my um, leader, which mm -hmm. is um, a ploy, mm -hmm. Gambit Spell. If this spell is cast, use a friendly fighter and remove up to two wound tokens from their fighter card. Oh, so wow. So I can potentially heal up um, old um, nice. Amis Dawn Guard. So I need to roll two magic dice mm -hmm. because my leader has two magic. So yeah. these guys only roll one magic dice, he rolls two, but he needs two lightning bolts. Oh, okay, spell. that's a tough spell to cast. And he didn't actually roll any lightning bolts. Right. So that spell fizzles. And, and does you lose the card as well? I lose the card, I lose oh, wow. So it, it, it's like a ploy in my hand. Yeah. Um, and I had an opportunity to cast it. I didn't cast yeah, it. Yeah, worth a go. Um, so yeah, so then, do you want to chuck any more of your objectives? Yeah, I'm going to, um, I'm just going to cash in a um, an upgrade. I'm going to buy an upgrade with my victory point. Okay, do. And I'm going to give um, this club guy here is going to be is going to have the creeping terror. Okay. Which means if he moves through an enemy, because my ghosts can move through enemies, um, he has a chance, a 50-50 chance of causing a wound as he passes through them. Wow. Okay, that's cool. Um, and then I'm going to chuck everything else. Are you going to are you going to spend your victory point? I think I am. Yeah. Um. But I'm, I'm actually no, I'm not. I'm gonna have to save it. I'm gonna have to risk saving it because mm -hmm. if I, I don't want to upgrade the wrong guy only for him to get get killed, torn apart by ghosts <laughs> immediately. Yeah, okay, so now it's time for round two. Mm. So we get four more actions. So there's three rounds in total, and we have to roll off to see who gets to start round two. It's, in fact, it's not who gets to start. It's gets to see who gets to have to choose. Ah, oh, one well, of the start. You got two crits. You can so choose. So I got two crits, and I can choose. And I think. I need to go first because if I don't go first, the hanged man is probably going to take out my 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 dawn guard, and I need yeah. I need him to not die. Now, because I'm choosing to go first, I can't play any ploys immediately. Yeah, that's the downside. Of which going is first. the downside of going first, because otherwise I could do some shenanigans. Um, but instead, I just think I'm just going to have to swing and see if I can can take out the hanged man before he does any more damage. So I'm going to attack. He's got three life, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to attack with with the the damage the the wounded. Yep. Um, oh, let's get rid of the wounded dawn guard, and I'm going to swing in three three attacks with the hammers or supports or crits. Oh, and it's got two crits. Two crits. So now that the hanged man is dinged, he's actually got two defense dice. So you can right. possibly save a this good if you double roll. crit. <laughs> you need a, you need a double six. Yeah. Then. Uh, not even any. one. Not even one. So he gets crushed. Actually, he gets three damage to him. 
Um, oh wow, you do three damage with your your weapons. Yeah, and Ouch. he is dead. He's a dead ghost. Now oh. when a, a, a unit is killed, I get a victory point. Yeah, you do. Bam, which is actually yeah, is. surprisingly impactful. Press F for the hanged man. Poor hanged man. He's the first casualty. Now, some of the other undeads and, and factions that have chumps have a ways mm. of bringing back their chumps, but unfortunately... Ghosts do not. Ghosts do not come back. They are, once 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 they've been had their bones burned, Ben... <laughs> yeah, they can't be burned with, again. With fiery wizard magic. Um, they are, it's all over. I, I cut you and I burned you at the same time. With <laughs> that stuff. So, by the way, Ben was standing in the lethal hex. Yeah. But his guys have a special rule where they ignore the damage from that. Yeah. Um, just FYI. They just ghost about. Okay, I think... Um, so that was my first go. That's your first go. Yeah. I think I'm going to try and kill that guy before... Well, while I, while I still can kill him. Um, he's still trapped. If I attack him from here, um, there's nowhere for him to go. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm going to do. Old um, Chain Raspily Inspired. I'm going to make a determined effort. Right. Um, which is plus one dice on the next attack. Plus one dice on the next attack. In, ret in retaliation to mm -hmm. your ploy, mm -hmm. I am going... To do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> to get stabbed. <laughs> so there we go. I've got. Oh, it's a crit and a sword. Uh oh, this isn't good. Hammer misses. So I get to roll one defense dice. Mm -hmm. um, let's do it. It's a shield, shield? which is not enough. So that blocks, blocks my crit. sword, but doesn't block the crit. So you do how much damage? Two. Two damage, which is enough to kill him. So he's down. Oh, chomp. Revenge. Okay, so before my go, I'm going to play Determined Effort. Ah. Plus one dice for the first attack action in next activation. Okay. I'm definitely going to get a kill here, and I want to get one. And I'm going to just swing with um, Rastus into okay. that chain rasp with four oh, attack dice. The headless guy. The headless guy might be getting a, oh, a dead hit. Oh, wow. Crit and hammer. So there is a crit and a hammer. I've rolled shields, so that's not good enough. So on your card it says, whereas I've got shields on the bottom of my card. I've got dodges. You've got mine. dodges. So for me... You're, you're, looking, you're looking for a little arrow. So there's more shields on here than the shield is better because there's two shields on the dice, there's only one dodge. Yeah. My guys only save on dodges. Uh, so he is dead. Bam. So oh, wow, this is it. Three guy. actions, three dead guys. I know, once you get start chopping these chain rasps up, they are not good. This game is accelerating towards the end at this point. Already. Um, okay, my action will be to get my Briar Queen over here. On to objective two. Objective two. Wow. And I'm going to put down the token and say, she's moved, she can't move again. Oh, I see. So so this could be a Ben diversion. Uh, <laughs> a Ben version, if you will. <laughs> yeah. But it could be um, a serious threat. Now, it's a shame that you killed old um, Dawnblade because he had an ability that mm. I could have upgraded him, which is a warding blast to target all adjacent enemies and do oh, two damage. Oh, man. So if you've been able to put the upgrade on him and then just like super blast. So I was thinking oh if he survived, I could just walk into the middle of you and like <laughs> holy AOE you to death. Oh, that would have been but amazing. But now he's dead. This upgrade is basically useless. Yeah. Um, we're going to go, we're going to take my leader and he's going to move and he's going to actually charge. So he's going to go uh, one, two, three, charge. Has he got a ranged attack? And he has a ranged him. attack. Now he has two ranged attacks. One is a spell, okay. which does one damage, but one is just his staff. Oh, it's got range on it. Which can... has two range. Right. So this is one, two tiles away. Yeah. Um, oh, and I, I can... realize he can just poke over the, the hole. <laughs> so uh, he doesn't have to go in the lethal hex. He's yeah. going to poke this chain rasp on objective four. Oh, man. And hoping that you have drawn objective four and um, I've, got a, I've got drawn into it. Okay, so I need to roll two dice. Uh, that was a support and a sword, which meant but he needs hammers. It doesn't work because he needs hammers. So that is another failed attack. Another failed attack. Oh man, I got lucky. He's done that. He can't move or attack this time. He's charged. Yeah. Um, that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to use my um, Far Cry of the Cruel to order all my um, chain rasps to ghost about again. Okay. So he's going to ghost this guy. Uh, how far do they go? Two hexes. This guy's going to go ghost away to objective five over here, mm -hmm. and then. This guy's gonna ghost up here. Okay. So want ghostly business. Ghostly business. All right. Complete. At the start of your turn, All right. I'm gonna play a ploy, Spectral Parry, which will put my guy on objective four onto guard. Oh, really? I think I'm just gonna attack him anyway. So on my go, mm -hmm. I'm gonna run in. Boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. And strike you. In, even though you're guarding. But it is no you. simple thing to land a telling blow on a, on a ethereal being. It isn't. Boop. 
And uh, that oh, is a, a hammer. hammer. He's either hit. What I need. It's a hit. But now, because I'm on guard, dodges and shields both work for me. Yeah. And you roll two dice. Yes, because I'm inspired. So there is a shield. Oh, so he dinked. It's a successful block. Mm. Which means I can push you back. Yes. But I'm not going to. I'm going to leave you on the objective. So that's my go. I'm going to use my last action to just ghost about over here through my own guy and gang up on your bloke there. Okay, so you get an attack with support. Yeah. Sure. Um, so he rolls two dice looking for hammers. He gets a crit. He gets a crit and, and a hammer. hammer. Oh, my dice have been good. What a disaster. So then I get to roll one defense dice, but it's not mm. going to be enough. Okay, so I take um, how much damage? You take two. Two damage on and I can push my you. other wizard. Um, I don't now, know I, oh yeah, do you me. can choose to push me uh, as long as I end up further away from you. So yeah. you, you can push me to this tile or that tile. I can't push you into the danger tile. No. no, I'll push you over here. So then um, you're up against the wall. Nice, good I mean, play. That's always a good move. So after your go, yeah, I'm going to play a ploy. This mm -hmm. is this is just before the end of um, the end phase. Mm -hmm. Choose two fighters that are adjacent to each other and switch them. So oh. there's a confusion. So I'm going to put myself on the point. Okay. So in that confusion of melee, I charged in and we ended up getting swapped. We ended up swapping well, it around. it was such a confusing melee, because I also have a confusion to play. <laughs> so Ben's playing it in response. So we just swapped so straight just back, back again. Oh dear, what a disaster. Okay. Um, that was very confusing. Okay. Did you manage to claim any objectives, Ben? Yes, I did. What did you get? I got objective four, which I assume was quite obvious there. Yes. Over it. it was quite contested. Um, and also objective five. Well done. So you got two more points. You got two objectives. For the ghost. Two victory points. So it's five against three. For well, now. I got a devastating blow. Mm -hmm. Take out two or more enemy fighters. Oh, so okay. I did. I did that. You did that. And then I get a victory point for that. Mm -hmm. um, however, I failed fighters one, which I was hoping to get. It is score this immediately if a friendly fighter attacks with two supporting friendly fighters. So if I work together. Oh, if you had all three attacking at once. Yeah, but unfortunately, because he was dead. Right, that's, that's not, not even possible. And then hold objective four. Oh, you were. I don't know. Why do I so hotly contested? I couldn't get it. Right, so my little ruse with the Briar Queen was. Uh, I had it for two turns, turns, and I was trying all sorts of confusion tricks to try and get on there, <laughs> but I couldn't quite do it. So that is the end phase. I'm on four victory points. You are on five. five. So it's all to play for. Yeah. I am going to put uh, the end of the end phase, I'm going to put a plus one wounds on my injured guy. So an upgrade of, of great fortitude, mm -hmm. he's got an additional wound. So he might not die quite so easily because he is wounded. Um, and then I'll draw some new cards. Have you got any upgrades to play? Yes. I'm going to put Sadistic Strike on Varkai of the Cruel. Okay. Which means it normally only does one damage, but if you're attacking someone who's already wounded, it does three damage. Okay. Hand. Okay, turn three. So we roll off to see who starts. And I got a crit. Oh, I got double crit. Double crit. So you can choose who starts. You can start. Right, thank you, Ben. So the current situation is, I've got a dead guy and a wounded guy. Mm -hmm. We're a bit trapped, but I think we can, we can come back. So I'm gonna start my go with a simple action. I'm gonna attack the chain rasp right next to me. Yeah. Um, because it's a good use of my time. And the, you one shot them. I one shot them if I can. So yeah. I'm gonna roll three dice, looking for hammers. There's a oh, hammer and a crit. Hammer and a crit. And so you're gonna need a crit. No, just shield. And he's not guarded anymore. He lost no. his guard token. So bam, dead he's chain just chopped rasp. up. I will take a victory point for that, which makes us level bet. Five all. Yeah, five all. And I'm running out of boys now. Right, I'm gonna try. This guy's wounded and back against the wall. Feels like now's the time to strike, doesn't it? Let's send in. Barclav the Cruel. Here we go. It's oh. three hits. Triple okay. hammers. Well, I can't block it. You so. can crit it. Oh, I did. Oh, I forgot I could do that. You got the crit. Okay. Oh, in that case, so I'm... crit overwhelms all of your stuff. Yeah, crit cancels any regular hits. In in reaction to that, I will play the card Endless Malice. Play this after a friendly fighter's attack fails. That fighter can attack again. Okay. So there's another crack at it. Roll some more dice. More hammers! More I need another crit. I don't get one. So that is two damage, I think. Yeah, uh, it's three damage. Three Cause damage? Because it's one damage normally, plus two damage if you're already wounded. Oh. He likes twisting the knife. That's his thing. Oh. Oh. So it actually normally only does one damage. Mm. But normally, but in this case, it does three. That is rough. Okay, so me, me adding the plus one wounds upgrade did not help. He's down. You get a victory point. Whew. Oh, I get to do a thing as well. I'm a treacherous foe. Score this objective immediately if your warband made a reaction. Okay. And the Endless Malice was a reaction to my failed attack. Okay. 
So that's another victory point. point. Seven to five. Seven to five. Oh, it's swung in your favour here. That was a big, big action, that one. I need to, I think, um, cast a spell with my wizard. Fulmination, which mm-hmm. is three a three range attack. So he's in one, two, three. Yep. I need to roll a magic dice. I can roll two magic dice, and I'm looking for swirlies or crits. I got swirly. Okay. So it hits successfully and does one damage oh, to okay. your dude. But you also um, he gets come inspired, inspired um, which means his spell in future will do two damage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. That, so that is my second action. You'll go. Okay. I'm going to spend an action to make all my chain rasps move in their ghostly ways. Ooh. There we go. They're spooking it up, because that's your action. I think I'm gonna have to do exactly the same thing again, is uh, another cast another spell on that guy. The same the same spell, but hopefully this time it will do two damage. Let's see. Uh, yes. Yeah, you got it. So two, two damage, damage to him. I've got one wound left. Ah, oh, fantastic. And then as a ploy, mm. I'm gonna cast Cry of Thunder. If this spell is cast using enemy fighter, that fighter suffers one damage, and also any other fighter adjacent to him suffers oh, one damage. Oh, wow, chain lightning. So I'm looking for two lightnings. Okay. Yes! I'm rolling all the oh, lightnings! Oh, now you're in a crit as well. <laughs> Super lightning. So that lightning's enough to kill him, because he's only got one wound left. He dies of a he lightning explodes. bolt. And how much do you do for the next One one? damage to the guy next oh, to him as well. Like clipped by he gets caught by a bit of lightning. Oh, I like Varklav the Cruel. And I, I take a victory point for a, a kill. He was a prick. Which brings me back to six points to seven. It's very close, Oh my god, ben. okay. I'm gonna cast Ether Wing Stance before this action. Friendly fighters have plus one defense for the next attack in the next action. Well, okay. So the way these instant cards work is I can, I have an opportunity to play it first mm. after um, my action. You have an opportunity yeah. to play it first after your action, but then you have an opportunity to respond. So you saw yeah. that last time with Confusion, I was given an opportunity, I played it, and then Ben could play one after that. Um, so I played, um, my Etherwing starts to buff his defense next turn. Mm-hmm. Now Ben's gonna play a card. I'm gonna play sidestep to push my guy forward one hex. Okay. I'm gonna play a card as well. I'm gonna play Lucky Trinket, put mm-hmm. that on my guy. It's just an upgrade. Mm-hmm. I haven't actually... That's your first upgrade. I did put one <laughs> on actually. I just forgot to spend the oh, points okay. for it earlier. Um, so this is basically an anti-spell thing. Mm. If you're gonna cast a spell, during your um, with your with your leader, I can have a chance of dispelling it with my lucky drink. Okay, so it doesn't actually help. Well, me here. I may as well give this guy with the plank here a uh, plus one wound. Okay, great. Why two. not? So we're we're, we're suddenly <laughs> throwing out all of our hands <laughs> yeah. to try and get this done. This guy. Yep. To charge. Oh, okay. Here we Spooky. Go. So in he comes to do some damage. Um, I've got nothing to make it better. So he's got one dice. Hitting on swords. All right. Come on, Planky. He hit with the assist. Okay. Now I get to roll three defense dice. I normally get two, but I get one for my card. Bam. That is a shield. Just just, just what I need (laughs) to save. You can drive me back, though. I don't think I want to. Okay. For my ploy, I will play Storm Strike, plus one damage to the next attack activation. Mm -hmm. So I might as well do that, even though I'm already hitting you for two with anything I cast, <laughs> yeah. so I feel like that's kind of kind of pointless. Well, that's good because I've got plus one wound on this guy. Um, right. Oh, have you? Which yeah. one? So, so but he's wounded so already. This guy's only got one wound. Yeah. And this guy's now got three wounds. Okay. So that extra damage is, means you can kill the the tough one. I think I'm gonna just use my final action mm-hmm. to charge around to objective four and strike your 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 injured chain rasp. Okay. Uh, who hopefully has less defense dice than the other one. Uh, they both have the same. Okay. I think actually you probably got inspired. Oh, this one would have been realize. inspired. Yes. Because yeah. I pushed him in your turn. You're right. So you. which one's the weakest? Uh, well, this one's inspired. He rolls more defense dice, but this one's got more wounds. Right. So it's a tough call. I'll do. I'll fight. do the. I'll do the one who's already damaged, and we'll take him down. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we get to roll. We're just, just going to strike him with our. Encanter's staff okay, as a melee attack stick. rather than using our spells. Although <laughs> the spells have been going quite well. I feel like the spells the spell though, dice have been hotter for the you. The spell dice have been on, <laughs> on fire, whereas the attack dice have been bad. So we're gonna we're gonna roll two things uh, oh, and fail the attack. Assists. However, I'm gonna play an, uh, my final card as a reaction. Play mm-hmm. this after a friendly fight as attack action that fails, we can make another one. Oh, it's the same as mine, but your one's called Lightning Assault. Yeah, we can do the same. All right, let's, come on, come on. 
No! Oh my god, you're dying, you're, you're sword. You guys need to do more magic, less stabbing. That's what it is. Okay, so to we you. failed on that attack action. It's a bit of a disaster. And that's so, my final action. So it's my final action. I've got this ghosty ghost. He's gonna ghost, he's gonna make a charge action and phase through you okay. with his creeping terror upgrade. Right. So I get to roll a dice now, there's a 50-50 chance he will just take a wound from being like Creep spirit out. creeping. Yeah. Okay, so he takes a wound. Yep. That's bad. Okay, then he's gonna smack you with three dice. And he's gonna try to push you into the, the tentacle hex. Oh no! <laughs> That's the dream. Uh, it's a crit. Okay, I need to roll a crit to stop you, which I don't do. Oh, nice. So he only does one damage because he's just a little piddly chain grass for the club. Oh no, if he did two. I know, it's really upsetting. <laughs> he pushes you into the hex. So and you take, a damage. you take a damage from the tentacles getting you. But I'm still alive with one health. Got one wound left. I and that's your last action. That was my last action. And you don't have any cards that do an extra damage um, or anything. I did. I had Vengeful Curse. If you killed someone, you were adjacent to oh, him, you take a damage. Oh, right. So if you'd like killed this guy, he would have like cursed you for one wound and then you'd be dead. Okay. But there you go, saved by your own inept dice roll. <laughs> so at the end of the third round, the score is, you've got seven victory points. Oh, hold on, we've got, I've got six victory points. But we could still score points. Well, I can me. score two victory points oh. from Conquest, which is survive in the third end phase if all your friendly fighters in your opponent's territory. So this takes oh, me up to okay, eight victory running. points. You're on eight and I'm on seven. So it's now eight, seven. What have you got? I've got hold objective two which the Briar Queen is doing a lovely job of. Okay, which puts you on eight as well. So eight apiece. And then finally, I have my last objective, which I failed. <laughs> <laughs> so did I. <laughs> <laughs> I failed both of my other ones. So I had a choice between hold objective three, which was in my oh, territory. Oh, you couldn't get that and conquest. Exactly. Oh, and then right. I also had kill your leader. Now she was a bit out of the way. Yeah, that would have taken you out of the game. Oh, that's a rough set. So I, it's eight all. Then. Mine, you, I could have done this one have two or more of my fighters move through the same person um, in the same turn. Right. But, but you killed the guy who could move two guys in a turn. Oh, I killed the... Um, Varkhead the, the Cruel. So if you hadn't sniped him, his next action was going to be to tell two of the chain rafts... Oh no, but he'd charge phase around. anyway. He still can, can do it because it's a separate action. No, no, you can't activate at all. Oh, I thought you just couldn't attack... Move no, 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 attack. you can't activate someone who's charged. Oh, I did that totally wrong then, so I should have... Done this first and then stabbed. But him. that Varkhav got the kill because you didn't... need you needed a guy who could hit the three. That's it. Oh, you're right. So actually, that was the right play, getting the stab in. Yeah. But it meant I couldn't get the movement spell well, off. Well, there you go, everyone. That was Warhammer Underworld's Shade Spire slash Night Vault. Yeah, hard fought draw. The new version of Shade Spire. This is basically that they put out the Games Workshop put out the Soul Wars box, which is Night Haunt versus Stormcast. Mm. I collect Stormcast. I've already got loads of these wizards. These wizards are, are super nice looking. Um, the I, I like, make them look a lot cooler than I me. like the wizards um, a lot. And I like the undead a lot. It's a fun little game. Actually, it's not like Warhammer at all. No, nothing like Warhammer. It's completely different. Um, I like it. Ben likes it, I think. Yeah. It was a tight game. Well, that's right. I love I'm mad. Close games are always my favorite games. And like, um, win or lose. we've got all of the other little groups of these guys painted up. So we're going to play a few more games of this. Yeah. Let's and know hopefully what you, think. you guys can let us know what you think. Tell us if you like the new camera setup. Yeah, tell us what you think, because we've got obviously, we've left this camera on this whole time, just sort of filming the dudes and the dice and things. And, and uh, maybe, maybe it's good to see this stuff happening. Maybe not. Can you see better? Is that a good thing? I don't know. We don't know what this looks like, doing, but we think it's cool. Wow. We want to we wanna try and get you into the game and get you following it. So let us know, because we need to know what we're doing wrong. Anyway, lots of love. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.